This is the Nissan ENV200 and it's the new version with 40 kilowatt hour battery pack. So I want to do a range test, but you know, ideally when I do this in Norway, I can charge it to 100% and I can drive it all, almost down to zero. But we have limited time today and also there aren't too many fast chargers around here. We are in uh, uh, Tenerife at this island. so. Um, so you know what, this time I have to, I have to do an estimation based on, uh, I'm going to do a test route and based on the numbers and the consumption we can estimate how much range this will have. Um, so um, we'll see, I don't, we, we're going to do a run now, 90 kilometers per hour. Mm, yeah, well, we're going to cruise at 90 kilometers per hour. I think that's about 85 kilometers per hour real speed because this speedometer is a little bit off. Yeah, so let's try that and see how much we get. So we start at 70% state of charge, uh, eco mode is on, yeah, yes, yeah, so that will give us slightly more range, and uh, I will reset all the timers, yeah, temperature is okay, it's just capacity, well, maximum speed, yeah. So we're going to reset and uh, start driving. We have been driving five minutes, and uh, the consumption is just very low but uh, that is for a good reason because we 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 went downhill and uh, we also have some massive tailwind here so that's why we have to go yeah we have to go this direction and then turn back again and go back to the starting point to um, make up for uh, elevation change and also for wind all right we um, we turn around here so we did uh, almost 15 kilometers now we're turning around, we go back again, and then we actually have to turn around again. Uh, and then go back to the starting point. We are now heading back, and um, now we have headwind. So you can actually hear the, the wind noise. Um, so the, the consumption was very low on the way here because we had tailwind and now we are going back so um, consumption will increase. Uh, so I figured out that 90 km per hour on the speedometer here equals to 85 km per hour on the GPS. So uh, yeah, so I mean you have to consider this an eco run. It's not like, you know, you're not running <laughs> at high speed on the motorway. So uh, it's, it will like simulate a mix of city driving and some like two-lane highway driving yeah on on motorway if you do 120 130 you will consume way more and then yeah so this is an eco run and this is the final uh, leg of the test uh, the very short test uh, in, well, in my scale it's a short test but um, so we are 7.7 uh, .7 kilometers away from the starting point and uh, look here Ooh, well, okay we have really nice temperature and all dry road and everything so very good condition so I would consider this a summer test not a winter test I will do that in Norway later but consumption is 165 watt per kilometer and we have tailwind so uh, this is looking pretty good yes um, let's wait until we get back to the starting point and then I'm gonna do some calculation all right this is it we are back at the starting point and here are the numbers, so uh, maximum speed wasn't too high, average speed was 70 km per hour. Um, distance, right, 47.6 km. And um, yeah, consumption, 165 watt per kilometer. Ooh, that is not too bad. I mean, well, you, just, you have to consider this is a van, it's not a sedan, so it's big and yeah, mainly the, the drag coefficient is pretty high. Uh, and then 46 percent so we consume 24 percent so if we do the math here it's going to be um, a 200 kilometers of range and uh, available energy is well I estimated to around 33 kilowatt hours but you know what during the test we did some tests I mean some calculation and then we ended up with like 27 or something so uh, I think we have to drive further to get more correct results because I don't believe it's only 33. I, I think it's around 36. Uh, so maybe I will do another go in another car uh, because we don't have fast charger around here uh, because I want to find out. But it seems like so far that, um, yeah, you can go um, 
uh, 200 kilometers. Yeah. In summer. So in winter, maybe slightly less, 170 kilometers maybe. So there you have it. The ENV 200, the new one, 40 kilowatt pack. Yeah, so again, you know, this is just an estimation. Uh, when I have a chance, I will do a proper test where, where I charge it to 100% and then drive it close to zero. But I probably have to do that in Norway. Yeah, and then that'll, that will be the winter test version. Yeah. So uh, that's it then for now then. Yeah, bye bye.